Next, let's say you want to deploy your application onto the internet. I like to use heroku.com uh, with a few commands. You can just upload your entire application onto Heroku. First, you need to create an account for yourself. So go ahead and do that. So click on login, sign up. So click sign up for a new account. Now be sure to make note of your Heroku login ID and password. And now once you get back to your sample application, you can just CD out of this application uh, to perform, to, to install the Heroku gem first. So gem install Heroku. So you can go ahead and press that. So what this command does is it installs Heroku on your local machine here. This might take a little bit of time. After Heroku has been installed, the next thing you need to do is uh, add your keys to Heroku. So uh, the SSH keys that you have already created that has been generated for you on this machine needs to be added to the Heroku website. The command for that is Heroku space keys colon add press enter and it might ask you you know which are the you know uh, ssh public keys you'd like to add i'm just going to choose the one that is most common that is id underscore rsa dot pub so i'm just entering number two over here and press enter and now it'll upload your ssh public key to heroku and that will enable your local machine to upload code into the Heroku uh, web server. After you do this, just CD into your sample app. I'm just uh, just typing the first couple of letters and pressing tab so I don't have to type all the letters here. CD into sample app. And you can say now Heroku create um, dash dash stack seeder. You're creating an application uh, repository on Heroku um, for this particular sample app and you're creating this repository on the cedar stack within Heroku. Okay, so just press enter. A Heroku repository has been created. Heroku is very similar to Git, GitHub in that both Heroku and GitHub are online repositories for your code. Whereas GitHub lets you view your code and share your code. Heroku lets you run your code. So that's the difference. The next thing we need to do is to push your code that is located in your Git repository on this local machine onto Heroku. Okay, you need to make one change before you can upload your Ruby on Rails project to Heroku. You need to make sure that your production um, gem is PostgreSQL. That is um, the, the database that will be used by your application in production, that is in when it is deployed to Heroku should be PostgreSQL, which um, has the gem PG. Okay. And so just be sure to select that. So here I'm saying group production to gem PG and a version number, the latest version number. Uh, but on your local machine, you can have a gem SQLite 3, uh, SQLite 3 being your, you know, the database that ships um, automatically with your Rails installer. So on your development machine, which is your local PC or your local laptop, you can have SQLite 3. But on the production machine, which is your Heroku machine, you should be sure to have the gem PG installed for that. You can get this from the railstutorial.org website and then be sure to save it. I'm just going to press Control S and you can head back to your command prompt and here just update your changes into your Git repository. So you can say Git space add space dot git commit dash am um, modified gem file press enter and now you can say git push heroku master and press enter this will take about a minute to upload your rails application to heroku and once it is done you can say heroku space open and that will open your application on the Heroku website. And here is your application. Um, it's actually live on Heroku. So anybody that types this particular URL will be able to view this application. So that's how you can upload your application onto Heroku. Now let's say you make a small change, okay? And you want to make the change show up on Heroku. Okay. Go to your application. Let's say you want to go into the public file and go to hello.html and say hello world 
this is on Heroku and exclamation and press save and now go back to your command prompt and say git add dot git commit dash am small change enter git push Heroku this time you don't have to say master you can just say git push Heroku and your application the changes will be uploaded onto Heroku again this will take about a minute and that completes the upload of your new version of your web application onto Heroku you can now go back to your website and you can check this out so after this you can just type forward slash hello dot html and now you can see hello world this is on Heroku appears here because this is the text that you just typed in and it just shows up on Heroku so that shows that your uh, application is live and the changes that were made have been saved on Heroku